Welcome to episode 40 of Boxes in the Basement. I appreciate y'all locking in with me. Uh, we're going to get right into this content. Kyrie 7. I know I put a little teaser video out earlier in the week, but I wanted to get this to y'all. Let's just get into the box before, you know, I never really talk about the box too much, but the inside of this is phenomenal. If you haven't grabbed a pair, you got to look at the little intricate details of it. You know, it says a lot about his life, you know, what he's thinking, what he's feeling, stuff like that. These are true to size. So if you want to go half size up, I would recommend it. But with these, you have to, you know, Kyrie's are a little bit tricky. So these are the creators or rather the Hendrix. A little spinoff of, you know, Jimi Hendrix type theme, real eclectic like. It has some old components or some old pieces. So it has like musical notes, has like spray paint, has the H but there's so much going on with it. And inside of the shoe, on the back of the hill, I know he had like a little tribute to Kobe Bryant. It says his legacy is going to live on forever. And so we're gonna talk about some of the, not materials, but some of the sequences that's going on. You know, it has a little shark teeth from the ones, it has a zoom. I like the zoom, if you can do your research, do it. It has a zoom right on the midfoot, right at the bottom. You can feel it. I was doing some jump roping, as you can see, these aren't, they're fresh out the box, but I put them on, I wore them before. I jump rope denim and you know, being on your toes, jump roping, jump roping, jump roping. It didn't give me no issues. You know, had a little, took a little bit to break in because this part, the toe box is kind of like narrow when it comes down, like a downward crescendo or, or reverse crescendo. It's a little bit narrow, but if you don't really like a snug fit, I really like a more snug fit. Um, I went to the size, but you can go half a size up with that. Yeah, I like this part. They put the little cut, the little groove in there because a lot of times with this material, I think it's like a polymer, you can see that kind of the creases in it a little bit. So this kind of negates that, but it does, you know, give a little bit of better extra breaking. And you can kind of see the design put in there on that. Screen printing on, uh, check this one, protrudes out a little bit. It's like a gel or like silicone type material. You can see the underlay. I think these are from the four. If you remember the four was a black pair. It had that going over the whole shoe kind of cuts off right here, but it gives that a rendition of the fours. Then it has like a little toe drag, little bar right there to kind of help out. I do like the cross box here. It kind of locks in when you're pulling, you know, your shoelaces, it kind of locks it in as you can see. Uh, what else? I love the colors. I love the scheme. I love the sequence. Do your research or homework on it before you get it. I do know it has, it doesn't roll as much. It's more of a blockier. You know, so it rolls, it's not completely, completely flat, but it still rolls a little bit. It kind of has the toe drag here, cause you know, Kyrie does a little, a lot of cutting, stopping and going. The rubber sole rolls up a little bit on the inside, you know, not as much on the outside, but it does kind of have like a little roll bar right here. A little harder plastic uh, material. What else? Du -du -du -du. Oh, it has a size on the heel. I love the pattern. It's like a motorcycle tire tread. I love that. It's not a herringbone. Uh, which I'm a fan of, but this appears to give more traction than the herringbone. And I appreciate y'all taking the time. A little talking pieces behind me. I'm just trying to jazz it up a little bit. Not paying $20,000 for those sneaks, so I brought a picture. Uh, it says, warning, sneakerheads only behind this point. Interest your own risk. A lot of people call me sneakerhead. I really don't because I don't get the Yeezys and the Jordans and everything that comes out that releases. Uh, even though I can't get my hands on them, I just don't. It's just what I like, I like, and that's what it is. And then think outside the box. That goes hand in hand, kind of segues into my name or the title of my episodes, Boxes in the Basement. So I appreciate y'all taking the time. Episode 40, if you haven't grabbed a pair of Cryery 7s, do so now. They got the mystery box. You order that, you don't know which one you're getting, and they got four other colorways. So it's not like the cities. It's not like the cereal theme. It's not like the SpongeBob pack, but it has a, its own different spinoff. So appreciate y'all. Peace.